Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host Craig Chamberlain and in this video we're going to be doing an even more intimidating thing than we did in the last video. Hopefully I'm stretching your limits here a little bit and maybe you're just watching for fun knowing yeah, I'm never actually going to do that. But in this video we're going to be installing the computer processor fan. Now this is probably the most intimidating part for most people because the fan itself really you got a one shot. If you don't do it right you're supposed to pull it off, then you're supposed to use rubbing alcohol to clean off the top of the processor, clean off the bottom of the pan, uh, fan, and then put more heat sink on it, usually Arctic Silver or something, and then try again. That's what you're supposed to do. A lot of people don't do that, but that's what you're supposed to do because you don't want air bubbles between your heat sink and your processor. Anyways, this is the stock fan that comes with an Intel processor. This is an Intel Core i5 series processor. I believe all the Core i series processors have the same build for the fan, so they should all install the same way. Um, when you pull out the fan, you have a couple things here. You have your actual pins. Now, these are push-through pins. You push them in to lock them after you've actually slid it onto the board, and then you, after you've pushed them in and you turn them, and then they lock in place and you're good to go. This is traditionally a lot simpler to do than the older <laughs> the older processors were because it had like this pry bar and you had to like push down one side and then pry it into place and it was a huge pain. It was scary too if you had never done it before. Now here's a, the critical part here. If you look down here, this is your heat sink. That'll smudge. Don't touch that with your finger. And it's connected to a copper plate, which is the most conductive, one of the most conductive metals you can get which is why it's such an effective heat sink. But uh, the liquid there, that's what you'll smudge if you don't do it right. And you'll have to replace that and start all over again. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to line up these four pins here with the four holes on the motherboard. So come on in here and take a look at the holes. I don't know if you can see them very well, but that's where they're at. See those? Okay. Now comes the scary part. I mean, the easy part. That's what I meant to say. All you got to do is make sure that all four... I haven't pushed it down on the processor yet. I'm just setting it on top of the holes. Make sure that the holes line up. Okay, the holes officially line up. And then push through each side. Don't be afraid to apply a little bit of pressure. It depends on the board. You might have to put your hand underneath it. And then, if I had a screwdriver, which I don't have one on me, you'll actually turn these. There's a little arrow on them to turn direction. You probably can't see it. The arrow you turn into is actually your lock position. And so then you just turn each section, which I'll get my screwdriver later, and then pull up on each side, make sure each side fit in there properly. And my fan will not come out, so I must have done it right. <laughs> Phew, I only had one shot at that, because otherwise it was going to get really embarrassing when I redid the video saying I screwed it up and had to put a new heat sink on it. So, see, it's not that hard. I know it's intimidating, but really, you saw how easy those pins went in there. It's really just line it up, set it on there, push it down. Oh, here's another part I probably should tell you about. After you've installed your processor, you actually have to pull out this cable here. This is your, uh, your fan. Hang on, this sucker's kind of edged in here. I want to make sure I get it right. This is your fan cable. It's a four pin. It only really goes on one little section on your motherboard. This is a CPU fan. Oh, here it is. CPU fan. You probably can't even see that. Can you see that text on there? Does it focus on there? Yeah, right there? It's a CPU fan. It's upside down, but that's where it goes. It only fits in one real pl really one place. Slide it right on there. Make sure the holes line up. Make sure it doesn't fall out like it just did for me. Okay. And then when you power up the unit, that fan will start spinning. If it doesn't start spinning, power it down because that would be bad. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. I always like when you guys leave comments. And uh, we're going to keep doing this computer build. This is probably the scariest part. If, you, if you've gotten past this point... The rest of it's a cakewalk. It's very easy to do. So stay tuned, and I hope you like these videos. Also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all those other annoying, I mean awesome social networks. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.